my name is Namita Mehta and I'm the president of the Red Pen. There's been so much interest in British boarding schools recently. So today I have with me Lorna Dolan from Seven Oaks School, which is the first British boarding school to introduce the IB program. Hi there, yes, so as uh, Namita just said, I'm Lorna. Uh, I am director of admissions at Seven Oaks School. I also teach English and I'm involved with debating at the school. He joined it for sixth form and really enjoyed himself doing the IB, which as Namita said, we're the first major school to introduce the IB. Thank you so much, Lorna. Can you tell me a little bit about the location of your school and the curriculum in the, in the under years as well? Absolutely. So we're really fortunate in our position. Uh, on the train, we're just 25 minutes to the centre of London, that's to Charing Cross. Um, and we're in a small country town, an absolutely beautiful country town. So we've got a um, gorgeous green countryside all around us. We're actually on the edge of a thousand acre deer park, a uh, very famous um, stately home there, uh, much visited by people in the UK. Um, our boarding houses are very close to the centre of town so that students can stroll into town uh, if they want to do a little bit of shopping and they can also get very easily to London uh, we do lots of trips up to London and so on, and that's a real advantage. We're only half an hour from Gatwick Airport, and we're an hour from Heathrow. And in fact, Seven Oaks is the number one destination at the moment for people choosing to move out of London, wanting a safe place to live in the country. And your other question was about our uh, curriculum, wasn't it? Well, as you heard, we do the IB and only the IB in sixth form, which makes us very distinctive, actually, compared to other schools. Uh, we've been teaching the IB for over 40 years, maybe 45 years now. Um, and we love the way that that really makes our student body cohere so well. In the younger years though, we do IGCSEs in the two years ahead of the IB. And before that, we do our own curriculum. But of course, we're so committed to the IB and our teachers uh, really understand it from inside out. Indeed, many of them have written the textbooks that our students are using to study. But that style and that approach to teaching really informs our teaching all the way through the school. So for example, we have a core curriculum which really encourages critical thinking all the way through. One of the reasons that we do the IGCSEs before the IB is we take a lot of new students in from all around the world to join us for the sixth form for those IB years. We find the IGCSEs provide a really strong academic foundation for the IB but that also means we have the advantage that all of our students start the IB together at the beginning of what we call sixth form or lower sixth, um, uh, whether they've come up through the school or are joining us new from a completely different curriculum. Thank you so much for that, Lorna. Um, I mean, as you know, there's so many British boarding schools in the UK. What are the unique selling points of Seven Oaks? Okay. So I guess the IB, I mean, that really is a major one and our complete commitment to it. That makes us very distinctive. And the other thing that makes us really distinctive is how strongly international we are. Uh, we have students from over 70 nationalities around the world. And because we do the IB, students from all around the world are really happy to follow that as a curriculum. So we have students from all across Europe, from across Africa, Southeast Asia, South Asia, and indeed they come over to us from America, and from South America, and we really love that diversity. But just to explain, we have day students as well as boarding students in the school. We're not a pure boarding school. And many of our day students, they may live in Seven Oaks, they may have a British passport, but you know, close to London and in a really multicultural environment, many of them will have a second passport. Many of our students speak two or three languages. So we are an old British school. We're actually nearly 600 years old, one of the oldest schools in the country but we have that really strong international flavour and a very innovative, forward-looking approach to education. We're not a very traditional British school. We don't do things because we've always done them that way. We don't need some kind of special dictionary to join us. We're very modern and forward-looking. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Lorna. Um, you know, for families that are considering sending their children to boarding school, of course, safety is a huge concern. So can you tell me a little bit about the pastoral care, which I, which I do know is a very unique thing about Seven Oaks? OK, lovely. Well, as I said earlier, you know, families are choosing to move out of London to us because it's such a safe uh, town, a really kind of comfortable, safe uh, country town. Um, I mean, our boarders are really looked after by boarding staff. Uh, the boarding houses really are a home from home for us. So you've got a lot of staff who are looking after you, but including the matron. 
um, who is a really kind of key member of the staff, really sort of uh, the mother of the house, there to look after you if you're a bit poorly, take you to hospital if you need to go because you've had an accident, uh, liaise with the doctor for you, uh, have the homemade cookies waiting for you when you come in from school and so on. So you've got that kind of warm and safe environment. Um, we also have a tutor system. So every morning your child would meet up with their tutor and there'll be a small group of students and that member of staff gets to know the children really well, guides and supports them and liaises a lot with parents. We really believe that parents you know, want to know what's going on and should be involved very much in the child's journey. So you as parents have got someone to contact and to find out what is going on with your child and they look after them completely in the round. You know, their academic progress, their involvement in the co-curricular side of the school, their friendships and so on, you know, if they've been meeting any kinds of problems. But also the older students in the boarding houses are very involved. Now that might be um, a strong math, uh, maths teacher, uh, maths teacher, maths student, I mean, sorry, uh, in the uh, sixth form, supporting a child who's maybe having a bit of trouble with a topic uh, in the school and so on. So it's a really strong network around there, supporting the child, but also giving them some independence so that as they get older, they're ready for the independence that would be required at university. That, that's, that's great. And you know, Nora, I actually had a conversation with one of your current students oh, okay. and you know, she was uh, solving this maths problem yeah. in her house right. and um, I think she managed to get her housemaster to help her because he was a maths teacher right. there. and it took him some time to solve it and you know, he told her that you know, I will solve it and come back to you and she was so happy because it's such an um, intellectual curious community mm. at Seven Oaks and everyone is you know, willing to contribute and um, and then, you know, I think a couple of her friends came, it was to do with the uh, AI in maths, and then we all kind of, you know, learned something new. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think that's um, very unique in a boarding house in, um, in the UK. That's really nice to yeah. hear. That's a lovely illustration. Exactly. Because I would say, um, I didn't talk about this as one of our unique <laughs> aspects, but, um, you know, look, we do get fantastic results, some of the best results in the world uh, for the IB. But it's not an intensely competitive academic hot house environment and that kind of collaboration you're talking about is absolutely part of the school um, and also the relationship with teachers you know, it's respectful they don't use our first names or anything but it's a very warm collaborative working um, relationship we have i know that's an english teacher you know i learn from the students i don't just expect them to learn from me that's, that's lovely. So a lot of families also look at you know boarding schools as a stepping stone to higher education, to university applications, and um, if you can just tell us a little bit about university placements in, you know, within the UK and internationally as well. Please. Absolutely. Um, so we did a survey actually not that long ago. We looked at our students over the last 10 years and we realised really consistently uh, we get 37% of our students every year going to one of the top 20 universities in the world. Um, so 80% will go to the UK and primarily they'll go to, I guess, the big names in the UK, Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial, LSC, UCL tend to be the main destinations. But we think it's really important that the student goes to the right university for them. And sometimes the big famous name is not the right place. Maybe they want to do a specialised type of engineering, they should go to the right place for that. Medicine, for example. Uh, there are some really fantastic courses, um, which, as I say, are not the most famous names, and that's really important to us. And then in terms of international universities and destinations, um, I think we were trailblazers in this, in terms of uh, really looking outside the UK, partly because we've been so international for so long, that's what families wanted. So our higher education department has a specialised section that handles applications internationally. Mostly that's to the US, and in fact, 20% of our students will go off to the US. I mean, obviously the big Ivy Leagues, as well as uh, you know, some of those niche liberal art colleges, but the record is pretty strong. You can see all of our destinations are published in full on the website every year. So you'll, you know, do have a look and see where we go. That's great, Nona, thank you. So before we end, I'd just like to you know, ask you for one piece of advice to prospective applicants. Oh, gosh, you didn't warn me about this question. <laughs> She's been very naughty. Um, listen, I would say read, okay? And I know I'm an English teacher and that sounds like a specialised thing, but honestly, uh, our students have a real intellectual curiosity. They love to read above, a bit above and beyond their subjects. Reading a fantastic um, study recently from Switzerland 
where they just said, look, it does make me more intelligent. Um, but coming with a real kind of knowledge and passion for learning, I think that's the best thing you can do. Thank you so much for your time, Laura. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.